are packed up. We are ready to go. Are you ready to roll, Daphne? Are you ready to roll? Yeah, she is. No, no, no. Stay here. Stay here. Lie down. <laughs> Oops. All right. I just want to show you guys where we stayed last night. Last couple nights, actually. beautiful location again right from our front door and ta-da this is pretty epic this is called I don't know how to pronounce this word Edontanagen the lake oh yeah <laughs> sure it's Ed it's Lake Ed and uh, yeah look at this spot though you guys it's amazing there's no cell service and you could just sit and watch the lake it was beautiful so who else wants to do that just sit and watch the lake <laughs> exactly However, you can have the perfect boondocking location, but not the perfect weather necessarily. That's it right. has been rainy most of the time we've been here, so we haven't spent much time outside. Yeah. But you know, we have an epic view from our kitchen window and that is awesome. And the rain here is on and then off and then on and then off and yeah. on and off. So you do get to experience outside. And I don't know if you guys can see right from this angle, you probably can see it a bit better. The leaves are falling and they're falling fast. So winter is nipping at our heels. <laughs> yeah, and there's more snow on those mountains than there was Ooh, yesterday. Yeah, there is. Look at that. That's awesome. So we got some miles to go. Yep. Today we're heading down to Stewart, BC, which is on the ocean. It's beside What's today? The, it's beside Alaska. Today is September 28th. Yesterday was our three-year nomad anniversary. Woohoo! Yeah. We made it for three years. Nailed it. Nice. Full time in the RV for three years. This has been a fantastic journey. We love that we can bring you guys with us. Yeah. If you don't know who we are, my name is Lisa. My name is Kent. We're Living Light RV. We are grabbing life by the tail because you never know what tomorrow holds. So get out there, live life in the moment, and let's go today to Stewart, BC. Let's go. Well, we're driving the Stewart Cassiar today. It's a very well maintained road, but this is not a paved road. It's bumpy compared to, to pavement, but smooth compared to a dirt road. It's sort of a hybrid in between. Like there's nothing that you wouldn't be able to take up this road. Now this, this isn't, this doesn't give you a feel of a highway. It is a highway, but it doesn't give you the feel of one. There's no shoulders to pull off on. Um, there's no uh, painted lines. So it's a free for all. Just drive it and pay attention. And there's lots to see. guaranteed to get rock chips in your windshield and I think it's the Stuart Cassiar that's gonna give us rock chips in our windshield like every time one of those big semi trucks comes by they're just kicking up a ton of dirt and we can hear it hit the window and we've heard a couple rocks hit pretty hard I don't see any new chips yet but so let's just hope we don't get a huge rock chip but there's nothing you can do. When those semi-trucks are flying at you, you're like... <laughs> deer in headlights, because there's nowhere to go. And they go fast. They go way faster than us, I think. Yeah. Maybe that's why they kick it up so much. Well, they're heavies. They're really heavy and they're going really fast. It's crazy. But it's beautiful out here. Everything. 
Well, look at that. Now we have pavement with lines and everything. All right, on our way down to Stewart, BC. Let's go. awesome seeing that helicopter yeah so I don't know is that how you just move stuff around out here yes it is. <laughs> I think in the cities you would see a big crane or something moving large pieces like that over but up here it's like yeah we've got the choppers let's use them it's pretty awesome we like big machines hey yeah they're dropping uh, equipment by case into or out of those camps either they're packing up the camps or they're building the camps Probably packing up. Yeah, I, I would say packing up just because clear? it's getting cold. Yeah, clear. You're good. You're good. All You're right. good. So that was just a short pit stop for fuel. This is actually Bell 2 Lodge. I think Bell 1 must have been what I saw earlier. Yeah. Um, At the beginning of the pavement. Right. Uh, so definitely when you're driving out here, be aware of your fuel because it's a good 100, sometimes 200 kilometers in between fuel stops, so. Yeah, and there's some that are cheaper than others too. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly right. So we just got a little bit here to tide us over to make sure we get to the junction and then to Stuart, so we're still on the way. Carry on down the road. So we took highway 37 I think the Stuart Cassiar and then the, the Mezzadean Junction we actually took a we stayed on the the 37A and look where we are amazing what that's like a glacier right there that's gorgeous it's beautiful out here it's cold and wet ish feels wet in the air but it's beautiful, check this out. Well, we are certainly, in, oh, certainly enjoying the drive along the 37A, which is on the way to Stewart, BC. This is Bear Glacier, and we're, there's just waterfalls everywhere and trees and nature. It's not nearly as remote. As you can tell, there's trucks driving right by us, but this is incredible, you guys. I think we're gonna head into town, check into the campsite, an actual campsite, so we can have showers. I heard they have Wi-Fi, which, we don't even have a data, we haven't had data connection for like five days. So yeah, pretty crazy. All right, let's go do this. We are in Stewart, BC, and right there is the border to Hyder, Alaska, which we <laughs> had to drive to yesterday because we missed our turn off to the campground and Ken had to make a super tight turn around there. He's the boss, man. Okay, so she's saying turn right on International Street. Nice. We are actually at the border. Or maybe not. Do the turn, Kate. Do the turn. Yep. Oh, 
locals only. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Hyder, Alaska. <laughs> fun. <laughs> that was excellent. We totally missed the turn to the campground because we're looking at all the beautiful buildings and the colors and the scenery and all of a sudden we're at the international border which as you all know at this moment it is closed to Canadians. We cannot go into the states. It looked closed for everybody. But that was Hyder, Alaska. So it said local traffic only. No you could go in if you're if you're an American you could go in there. Yeah. Anyway the adventure is the with Kent and Lisa. But on our way back in this estuary here, like kind of right there, we saw a sea, a sea creature. We have no idea what it was. Um, we did get it on the GoPro, but it's really hard to like zoom in to actually see it. But so today we checked out of the campground and we thought, you know what, let's walk back there just to see, just to see, you know, just in case. And of course it wasn't there, but we've enjoyed the walk anyway. Look at the, those, uh, that moss on those trees, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful place, very wet. I'm sure it rains here pretty much every day. So bring your rain gear, get outside, get some fresh air, enjoy the beautiful nature things. And that's what we're doing today. And then we're heading off to continue on down the road, heading east this time. We're gonna head almost straight east, a little bit south and a little bit east. I'm bringing you guys with us. This is, I was gonna say Stewart, Alaska, but it's not, it's Stewart, BC very close to Hyder, Alaska.
Stewart was beautiful. We enjoyed our, our, little, our short time there, but it was yeah. really, and it's worth it to take the little detour off of the main highway, take 37A and head over to Stewart. It's oh, beautiful. Oh, it was excellent. Beautiful um, drive. Yeah, and we were blessed uh, this last time on it because we saw, number one, we saw a moose. <laughs> Finally, she was far away, but she was pretty. Oh yeah, standing in the middle of the uh, river. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Have a fabulous yeah. week. I don't know if we've introduced ourselves at the beginning of this video or at the end of this video, so I'll just say it again. My name is Lisa. My name's Kent. We're living light RV. <laughs> we are. We're grabbing life by the tail. We're living in the moment, you yeah. guys. This is amazing, just being up here and experiencing life and sharing it with yeah. you. And we had our three-year nomad anniversary. We did. A couple uh, days ago. A few days ago, yeah. It was fantastic to just rem reminisce and remember our three years. One of these days we're going to do a live stream and we're going to talk about living on the road for three years. Yeah. So if you have any questions about full-time RV life for the last three years that you just are dying to know, how did Kent Lisa deal with this? Yeah. Then go ahead and put that in the comments below or you can always send us an email as well. Hello at livinglightrv.com. And the best way to contact us is through Patreon, patreon.com slash livinglightrv. We get to know you guys a little bit better. Yep. We get to just build a relationship and build a friendship. And that is really what this is all about. So a little bit of an inside track there. Yeah. So, and, oh, and Kit's got some amazing bonus footage coming up for patrons. So yep. you don't want to miss that. So head over to patreon.com slash livinglightrv. In the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, leave us a comment below, and we will see you guys next, next. Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Next Thursday. Woo. <laughs>